Hey guys, it's me Mila, and yes, I'm back with the with a story time that you guys have, I bet, anxiously waited. And you might have been thinking since I haven't uploaded, you're thinking, Mila, you're lying. Your life isn't interesting. It is actually very interesting and very fun. So I've been thinking about what my first story was going to be, and I have a great idea for my first story. And we're going to take it back to middle school, yes middle school so if you can imagine a young girl that looks a lot like me but her hair is shorter and she's wearing pigtails and jeans and a t-shirt yes that was me in middle school I wasn't cute back then oh well so um I was bullied most of my whole life in middle school and it sucked to be bullied but what's life without bullies but I was mostly bullied by teachers. Yes, teachers. So, teachers are supposed to make you feel loved and protected. I felt scared all the time. The worst teacher I ever had was Mrs. I'm not gonna say her real name because I'm not sure if she's gonna find this video, so I'm gonna call her Mrs. Tate. She's not a real person, but this person was real. Mrs. Tate was the worst. I had her for math and I sucked at math. I didn't like math. I thought it was a stupid thing, which I know now is not stupid, but she was an old, ugly lady. She looked like a troll. So I was one day doing my work and she comes over and she leans over and her flesh like sagged near my hands. Like I had to move my hand away because I was so disgusted by it. But why was she a horrible teacher? Well, she bullied me all the time and these things were really sad what she bullied me for um my dog penny was dying one day and penny had been with me ever since i was a baby uh she was 14 when she died and mrs tate came over and said shut up cry baby it's just an animal get over it which made me cry even more and made me frustrated and i told her she was with my, with my dog and she's like i don't care if it was your dog i don't care if it was your hamster it's just an animal get over it which really hurt me deeply because i actually have a dog now and i can't i can't fathom not having a dog it was so hard when penny passed away another time i was trying to do my work and i'm a learner who needs to take things slow and she wanted it quickie, quickie, quick, quick, just get it done. And I couldn't because if you rush me when I'm trying to work, I get frustrated, I get mad, and if you push me too far, I start crying again. Um, I don't really cry that much anymore, only if something like if you punch me or I get hurt some way. But at that time, I was very weak and you could easily break me. Then, um... Another time it was in a class, this didn't happen to me, but it happened to another kid and I almost screamed. A kid had written a beautiful four page essay and I was looking it over, but he'd been finishing in class. Mrs. Tate took the paper and ripped it into fours, a four beautifully handwritten essay. She ripped it into fours, handed it back to him and said, okay, write it over. And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. You just ripped a kid's essay. Last thing, and this is, these are just things I remember. Um, this was, woo, I think this was just before I went off for vacation. And I was in our class. And I think it was, yeah, we were gonna do uh, Mad Minutes, which is like a, a math thing for, for homework. And I said, wait kids, we're not doing this for homework. And you know what I said? I said, why, Mrs. Date? Turns around, gives me the death letter, says, you're staying in for recess. I come during recess, and I'm like, why am I here? And she's like, do you want another no recess, or I'll give you detention? And I'm like, no, no, but why am I here? Because you asked a question. You are not allowed to ask questions in my class. Where's the logic in that? You're not allowed to ask questions in my class? What are you, mentally disturbed or something? <sighs> I actually quit going to public school in the seventh grade because of that lady. Mrs. Tate ruined my life. Well, ruined most of my high, my um, middle school life. And then when I went to high school, I had new teachers, new friends, and it just went made it so much better. Um, 
I don't know if you guys will have ever encountered a teacher like this. If you've encountered a teacher like this, please leave me a comment below. And if you have an idea of what kind of story you want me to tell, like a middle school, elementary, I can even go back to elementary school, or a high school story, whatever you want to hear, drop a comment below. And if you like the video, give it a like, subscribe if you're new here. And if you guys have any ideas of what kind of videos you want me to film, drop it below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next time with another story time. Love you!